good morning students today we learn how to design the state observer gain matrix a device that estimate or observe the state variable is called as a state observer to understand this here we consider one equation or the example having the a b c d matrix so this is the given a matrix b matrix and the c matrix the question is design a state observer for the design eigen values that is a minus 10 and minus 10 so first step is we have to check the observability using kalman test so this is the kalman equation for the given equation given system and we get the, this is kalman matrix and check the rank of that matrix it is equal to the state numbers so system is observable now there is a three methods are there to design the observer so first method is a transformation matrix so that we require the q matrix so q matrix is a w into q o transpose inverse w is a weight matrix so using the characteristic equation of the state system we get this coefficient and we can calculate the q matrix if the given system is observable canonical form so that time q is equal to i now calculate the system characteristic equation that is si minus a so that si minus a we get the characteristic so s square minus 20.6 compare with the standard equation we get the a1 and a2 coefficient so it is a 2 by 2 matrix n is equal to 2 so we get the a1 and a2 next step is calculate the desired characteristic equation so that is a desired eigen values is minus 10 minus 10 so it is a desired characteristic equation s square plus 20s plus 100 compare with the standard equation alpha 1 and alpha 2 so we get that alpha 1 and alpha 2 coefficient next step is calculate the k matrix so that is ke matrix is equal to what q into alpha 2 minus alpha a2 a alpha 1 minus a1 so we know q is equal to identity matrix so we get the ke so these are the ke vector that is a observer vector now same example we saw using the method to direct direct method so for that we have to calculate si minus a plus ke c matrix and get the determinant of that ke equal to we have to assume ke1 and ke2 and after substitution of the all values this is the matrix we calculated and get the determinant equation this is the equation ke containing the ke2 and ke1 variable now using desired characteristic equation again we get the uh, s square plus 20s plus 100 compare with this calculated equation so just compare the coefficient so ke2 equal to what and ke1 equal to this terms so when we compare that so we get the ke1 value and ke2 value so this is the second method and the third method is a ackerman formula so for ackerman formula qa into kalman matrix inverse into 0 0 1 this is the standard equation for this example it will be the this is the kalman matrix 0 1 and qa qa is a characteristic equation for that particular matrix now this is the desired characteristic equation so whenever a is there we have to whenever s is there we have to replace it by a and get the qa value so when we calculated it so this is the calculated qa value now get the inverse of that kalman matrix and multiply by the 0 1 so when we done all multiplication we get the ke value so uh, using all three methods we got the same observer value for as a observer gain matrix 
So hope you understand how to design the state observer using three different methods. Thank you.